I'm Devin Lee from Discover Space Organizing. Welcome to my kitchen. In my last video, I showed you all the steps I took to reorganize my entire kitchen. If you haven't already seen that video, I'll put the link in the description. You might want to watch that one first before you watch this one. Today, I'm going to give you a tour of my completed kitchen and show you some of the systems I came up with. As a reminder, I was working with a budget of zero dollars, so it's not perfect, but I think it's a good example of working with what you have. And I like the way it came out. But before I start the video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right, let's go. This area is our little coffee station. Where we have everyone's different coffee makers and a coffee grinder, some decorative teapots with plants inside. Um, these are my reusable metal straws that I put in. I guess it's like a to make salad dressings. It has all the salad dressing recipes on it, but we never use it, so I just put um, my metal straws inside. And we get coffee beans in bulk. These are coffee grounds, more coffee beans. It's all just right there. This is what holds all of our rags for cleaning. And then I make a cleaning solution out of vinegar and rosemary and put it in these beautiful bottles that I really, really love. We don't have a SCOBY right now, but I have this to make kombucha, and these are the jars that I like to put the kombucha in. This is our laundry basket for dirty cleaning rags. Here is our tea drawer. And we had this sort of, I don't know if you can see it, this clear divider. And I took little pieces of cardboard and cut them and put them in to divide the tea. And I also took old tea boxes and just cut the side off of them and then organized the tea that way. So like the bottom is all herbal and non-caffeinated and up here is white and black and green tea. And then over here is more caffeinated, <laughs> miscellaneous tea, some kava. When I change around containers, I like to cut out the label and tape it to the new container so I still know what it is. Like here, this is not spiced chai. This is what it originally looks like. But I cut out the label for the spiced chai and just taped it with clear tape to this tin. These are for loose leaf tea. I have a few more different ones that go in there. I think this one's really cute. It's just like a duck that floats on the top of your tea. Up here I have these two bins that I think are from Ikea. And I separated into, this is all of our baking stuff. And this is stuff we use often, like olive oil and apple cider vinegar and coconut oil and anything that we use for cooking I grab from here. And the box just slides out. This cabinet, this is all of our tin foil cling wrap and wax paper, all goes in this magazine holder. These, I found these on the side of the road. I think they're for loose leaf tea. They're really pretty, um, but I just put like miscellaneous bags in there, like little plastic bags I want to reuse. These are our oven mitts, miscellaneous jars I want to reuse. So these actually, you know, are just storage bag boxes that I covered with white tape to make them look nicer and put a label on. So anytime I need one, I can just slide it in and out like that. Down here is, I guess our knife jar. I need, I wanted a better place for us to put our knives besides just the drawer, but I didn't want to buy anything. So I just filled this old peanut butter jar with dried beans. I saw this somewhere online, and just labeled it. And then did the same thing with a smaller jar for smaller knives. Olive oil, salt and pepper. This is just actually, <laughs> this is just the top to this jar that I flipped upside down to 
keep our salt and pepper in and our truffle oil. And I think it's just kind of nice to have it all contained. This used to be where our silverware was, but I went through all of our spices. I labeled a lot of them. I would love to get one of those fancy like spice holders for the drawer that kind of tilts them all up so they don't move around. But you know, in the meantime, this is working okay. I like it. And then bigger ones just kind of are stored in the back until we need to refill any of these. So I made these labels, small pans, large pans. And they just kind of sit on top of each other with some towels in between so they don't damage each other because they're all non-stick. I'd like to find a better solution for the pans, but this one's working right now. So we've just been doing it like that. Down here, I'm really excited for. While I was reorganizing, I realized that this shelf can come out and be moved up or down. So I moved it up and I had one of these things so that all my pans and cutting boards and pizza stones can just sit sideways. And then all the pots go here and all of the baking things can lie flat up there. I know there's a lot of different fancy ways to stack pans and lids and I'd like to find a better system for the lids, but again, this is working just fine for us. This is where we keep bowls and plates and mugs and glasses and wine glasses and large bowls. Do you guys feel like labeling this amount is too much? I just feel like when the labels are there, people put things back where I put the labels, which, you know, it's just a little bit nicer. This cabinet is not very pretty. It's just communal food, but um, I didn't want to put too much effort into organizing this because it's always changing. You put things in, we take them out. We're always using different things in here. But something that I did do was um, I made a list of everything that's in here. And so when something's added, it can be added to the list and then crossed off once it's used, just so you can kind of see at a glance what's going on in there. Our Tupperware, all of the bottoms are down here in this lower cabinet. And it looks a little messy, but the small lids are here. And all of the bigger lids are up here. And it doesn't look that pretty, but honestly, keeping the lids just in a separate drawer from the rest of the Tupperware is the best way that I know how to keep it from being total chaos. The only person I know who really just intentionally snacks all of her Tupperware nicely is my mother. So this works for us. <laughs> my roommate went to the lavender festival and made some lavender infused gin. Which, ah, they look so pretty. She used the label maker to make the labels. And these are just some chickpeas I have soaking that I'll cook tomorrow and then we'll have chickpeas for the week. Above my sink are lots of plants and this cute bay window that I love. And um, I spray painted these clothespins a long time ago gold. You can't really see, but I like to keep them here to hang. Um, well, this is a coffee filter that Sean uses and the rest are for um, plastic bags that we wash to reuse. This is probably my favorite part of the kitchen. We have this cigar box that I fold cloth napkins and put into. So whenever we have guests, I can just put this out on the table and everybody has a cloth napkin. <laughs> we had for a while an insane amount of hot sauce. So I just put them all in this bin along with nutritional yeast, honey, my B12 that I take every day and some sea salt. So these are just kind of things that we just use with most meals. This basket is where I keep my non-refrigerated produce, along with some sweet potatoes. These are all of my, I guess my pantry items. I take these directly to the bulk store. I'm really lucky that we have a bulk store so close to our house. So I just put the tear directly on. 
if you don't know what um, tear means or how to buy things in bulk, I'm gonna put a link in the description that kind of explains it. I really, really love it. And then down here is kind of like, <laughs> I guess it's our bar right now. It's kind of an overflow spot. It's always changing. Like this is my protein powder that I use for Sean and I's breakfast. And this is just, I think we found a lot of this alcohol just like <laughs> in our garage left over from an old roommate or beer that doesn't fit into the fridge. And it's nice to have just kind of like an, a, a space that is just for overflow. So when you get these random things, you're just not, sh you're not just shoving them anywhere. This table, I think it's kind of dinky and like a little bit broken, but I just think it's pretty cute and goes with the colors of everything else in our house. And we found it on the side of the road, so it was free. And at the bottom is where we put extra paper bags and lots of plants. I'm, I just got a bunch of new plants that I repotted. So I've been switching around the plants a lot lately. And this basket is all of our reusable bags. And in the middle, this is, <laughs> this is an old pickle jar that my friend gave me once with something was inside, but it didn't have a lid. So I couldn't use it for regular storage. So I just put my mesh bags inside that I use when I go buy things in bulk. Like if I were to go buy produce or some dried beans in bulk, I would use these mesh bags and I just grab like a handful of them. Um, it does not always look this folded up and nice, but when I have time, I like to fold them up and kind of, you know, shove them in there a little nicely. This is our recycling right now. I, I use this basket that my mom gave me for Christmas for glass. And this big box right now is our recycling. I'd like to find a more aesthetically pleasing box to put our recycling in, but that's what we have right now and it's fine. This is our chore chart. It's not really a chore chart, basically. Because all of us are so clean and kind of just tidy up after ourselves, this is basically a list of things for us to do once a month we all get together and just deep clean the house all together. And I really like this. This actually was a gift given to me by my students once. It's a magnet and it came with some succulents in it, which I forgot about when they died. But this is so cute and it's perfect for our whiteboard to keep our markers and our eraser in. It's so perfect and I like it a lot better than a succulent anyways. All right, well, that was my kitchen. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.